We got houses built because I got a deal done with your, with your party last time, and those houses have made a significant difference in Tasmania. And I will pay credit to Peter Gutwin and the Liberal Party and the state down there. They're a little bit slow to get started with, and I understand that. That process, it does take about two years, because you've got to get greenfield sites, you've got to get the materials, and you've got to have the tradies. I know that and I understand. But we're doing a bloody good job between using, taking out the political the politics out of it. We are doing a good job in Tasmania and we're trying to build them as fast as we can. I know that. But I have to say to my colleagues from Tasmania, we are falling behind because for every one we build, we've got nearly bloody 50 more on that waiting list. We can't hold this back. I know this is not perfect, but people out there need roofs over their heads. So for goodness sakes, please, can we just get a starter on this? I don't want to hold them back any further. I really just don't want to hold this back any further. Nothing's ever perfect up here. It's never perfect. But for somebody to know what it's like to move out of normal housing and know that we didn't have to live in tent with my mum, which would have absolutely paralysed her, knowing that she couldn't keep a roof over her kids' heads, is heartbreaking. We cannot hold this up. We need this to get through. We cannot hold this up another day. So please, for you people over here that think you have a social conscience, do you really want to keep playing with people's lives? Do you really? Because all I hear is about all these women out there, domestic violence houses. You have an opportunity to get a starter. You have the biggest balance of power in this, in this parliament this time around. You have that. You can keep chipping away, no different to what you do with your gas and coal and what you're doing there. And you keep getting better at it and you keep, getting, you keep reducing on, on, on having more gas and coal here and you're doing a great job. Okay, you're doing a great job, but this we need a starter. This is something we can keep chipping away at and we can keep doing deals at and adding to it. So please, can we just use a base here and get started today? No more of the politics, no more of the rubbish. I just want roofs over people's heads. That's all I want. I want to thank the Labor Party for being very constructive. I know that um, Senator Tyrrell's worked very hard with you guys. I know there's been a lot of hours put into this. And yeah, we may not get this perfect, but we've got to start. And what we do know is that every state has been promised 1,200 houses to get started. Let's get it started, because it is going to take quite a few years to get them started and get them built. And in the meantime, we can chip away. We also know there'll be an election by the time they get, start, get started to building them. And I can tell you now, if people are crying out for houses, they're going to be offered a lot more. But at least get the program started so we can get moving. So I don't have as many people out there, especially our children. That next generation. I don't want them seeing them starting their lives by living in a tent. Because that's really unfair and we're not acting like adults by doing that to our children of the future. It is as simple as that today.